Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas, and today I have another new arrival to show you. This is the super popular 2022 Salem by Forest River model 22 RBS. This 5,764 pound trailer is ideal for the traveling couple, or if you're looking for something for more extended use, you know, if you're gonna travel uh, for work or something, this would be a good one because of all the storage and space that you have despite this trailer only being 27 feet long we're going to do an interior and exterior walk around tour today and talk about all of that and tons more of this small rear bath couples unit let's go ahead we'll jump onto the inside and start in the living area and man i have always been impressed with this trailer again despite it being only 27 feet long this feels a lot bigger than a 27 foot long trailer. So this has a very unconventional chase lounge. Uh, you normally get either a booth dinette or a sofa or theater seats in this style of floor plan with some of their competitors. I like this. It kind of is like a Swiss army knife. You know, it does a lot of things. So as you can see here, we have it in dinette mode. And the neat thing with this, you don't have to have this table. You can take it off. It's fully removable. You can easily seat three adults just on this one side. And if you bring a couple of folding chairs, you could easily seat five to six around here for a game of cards or a meal or whatever. Um, and we'll see the storage underneath this in just a little bit. It will convert into a bed. This is a jackknife sofa, basically from this portion that way. Uh, which is a very nice feature. Now, we have this huge picture window behind us, and the sun was coming in so, I guess, good through this window that I had to pull that shade down. That way you could actually see what this looks like because the camera has a lot of trouble with big windows like that. You do have the white accent light here above the slide out, and one of the neat things that Salem has done is these are all on a dimmer switch so your main cabin lights can dim which is a pretty cool little feature that they started doing for 2022. If we come over here and we take a seat on this sofa you're looking directly across at the entertainment center so you could put I would say probably a 40 to 45 inch TV up there comfortably and you've got your all of your connections down there uh, which is those white uh, outlets and junction boxes you do have the 5200 BTU electric space heating fireplace underneath that and then you have a clutter cutting shoe garage down there as well and I like that they have the accent light underneath there too that's a very nice touch if we look down at the floor you will notice that you do have some in-floor ducted heating uh, if you're looking for uh, cabinet ducted heating check out the Salem cruise light they don't have this exact floor plan because they are a little bit smaller but they have a couple that I think a lot of people that are uh, looking for something like this might enjoy um, I love that herringbone pattern too that's just it looks really good we'll come back and we'll take a look at the kitchen here in just a little bit there's kind of a nice preview this has a deceptively good kitchen one thing I do want to talk about before we get there is we have applied the optional 15,000 BTU air conditioner to this and we do that on every Salem since we're down here in Texas it can get kind of warm um, I know yeah, a lot of people like to shop around at some of the dealers that are closer than us and not every single one of them likes to stock them with the 15 uh, K air conditioner they also if you look at the vents they are fully turnable and closable which is a really neat little touch not every brand and I can't think of another one in a stick and tin class that does that so I really enjoy that and if we take a second here and we're actually standing in the bathroom now but just look how open this is this is really 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 good I absolutely love this floor plan again for that reason um, but with that being said, as good and as open as this is, this really has a deceptive kitchen space. So I think I want to start 
on the kitchen with this huge floor to ceiling pantry behind the entertainment center. So as you can see, they've made every little bit of this space storage. And I like that the shelves don't come all the way to the door. That way you can, you know, put a broom or a Swiffer or something like that in here, uh, which is a really nice feature. And that's a really good use of space too. Another great use of space. If we look underneath this sofa, you have these three totes. And the cool thing about these, these are food safe, so you want to use them to pack up food and perish, you know, non-perishable items. You can do that. You can use them for clothes. You can use them for games, books, movies, whatever. I um, absolutely love that. Now, underneath this one, if we shove that back in there, your table, when you're not using it, actually slides underneath there. So they purpose-built a spot for the table, which is a really cool feature, and I really like that. As we come over here into the kitchen proper, we'll start up top. You do have a nice microwave with the hood range underneath that. If we look down here, um, if we look at all this, this is every option that is on here that we have applied to this particular trailer. And you can see that this has just over a $42,000 MSRP. Our sale price is lower than that, but because these videos live forever, I can't go over sale pricing because it does change and map pricing changes from time to time throughout the, uh, uh, throughout the year. So that is a good starting point. I know a lot of people have asked about that. You've got a three burner cooktop with the glass cover oven down below in case you want to do some baking. You do have a nice spot for a waste basket in there which is really cool. Couple drawers. No kitchen is complete without drawers. And I like that these mount flush like so and then have the cabinet door. It just creates a really good look in my opinion. Dual basin sink. You've got the aluminum drying rack. High rise spring loaded sprayer faucet tons of countertop space and you've got four easy reach appliance outlets which is really nice uh, you're also gonna have your thermostat right there as well this is I don't know how I feel about this this used to be deeper um, these cabinets here but it still is good usable space for some cups and spices and things um, I like these opaque white panels and oh hey those kind of have a texture to them that's kind of cool and then over here you have some nice deep storage there too for some of your plates and bowls and things of that sort. Rounding out the kitchen, you do have a 10.7 cubic foot Everchill 12 volt compressor fridge. So as you can see right there, you have plenty of space. That's the freezer portion. Then you've got your refrigerator portion down here. Cool thing about these, you can use them while you're going down the road. You cannot do that in a lot of cases with a gas and electric refrigerator. The other kind of neat thing with these is they sip battery power. When these are down to temperature, they only use about three amps of battery power, which is pretty cool. And you can thank Salem and their sister product, the Wildwood, for introducing these into the mainstream RV market. Uh, in case you didn't know that, Salem and Wildwood are the exact same trailer. They just have a different exterior. I know a lot of salesmen try to say that Wildwood is better than Salem. Salem's better than Wildwood. They're the same thing. And the reason I say that, you're buying the dealer as much as you are the trailer. And if you appreciate those little industry insider uh, things that we can share with you, please feel free, hit that like button down below, and uh, consider subscribing and following along. We would greatly appreciate it. With that being said, guys, I think the star of this trailer is the bathroom. I love that big pocket door there too, by the way. But let's go ahead and we'll jump back to the bathroom. Take a look at that. And let me know what you think. So as we come back in the bathroom, I know this is kind of weird with these doors open like this. But first thing I want to touch on is you have this massive hanging closet here, um, which is very nice. So plenty of good storage down here. And it goes down there as well, which is, again, really, really good storage. 
Um, a lot of times you don't get that second hanging closet. Now I love what's going on here. You have the medicine cabinet um, right there. You do have that nice backsplash accent wall. I really like that. It just gives a definition to this area. Nice big thermal foil press membrane countertop, huge sink, GFI protected outlet, and a perfect spot for a waste basket down there. Some towels or extra TP. You have plenty of room around the toilet there. Um, if you're big around the hips or you know need extra space to be able to get up and down off the toilet, you've got plenty of room there. I love this window back here. So many times you don't get a window in the bathroom. I kind of like it. You do have the roller shade uh, to give you some privacy. AC and heat in here. You do have a power vent fan up here. Nice big closet back here. And if that other closet wasn't big enough, you still have plenty of linen cabinet storage. I guess the boss man is uh, moving trailers, but that's beside the point. 30 by 36 inch shower, ABS shower surround. So tons of space here. And you do have the skylight up top there. You can be upwards of 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and still shower in here comfortably. The neat thing about Salem's and Wildwoods is they a, have a taller 6 foot 9 inch interior height. So a taller goofball like me can still shower in here comfortably. And as good as the rest of the trailer is, the bedroom is sure not going to disappoint. So you have a pocket door here. One thing that I like that Salem does, they have these little magnet catches to keep the pocket door closed if you want it closed. Light switch for your taller ceiling lights. You can have USB plugs on both sides of the bed. Both windows in here do open, by the way, which is nice. Hanging closet here, as you can see right there. And then back in here, you have a couple of household outlets. So if you want to stick a CPAP machine or if you use a CPAP machine, you can put it in there and run the cords out through these little cubby holes here, which is a really smart design feature. More brands need to do that. Back in here, you do have good overhead cabinetry space there. Um, real quick, before we get to the underbed storage, I do want to mention this. You do have a laundry chute right here, which is a pretty neat little feature. And then Salem does one of the best underbed storages in the industry. And you have these neat little cube organizers, and you've got a clutter cutting shoe garage underneath there too, which is nice. Now this is a 60 by 74 inch camper queen, but if we take a look here, you can easily put a 60 by 80 inch queen here. You do lose a little bit of walk around ability, but it is still able to be uh, done. And then if we come back over here, if you do want to add a TV in here, you can. You have the backer and connections to be able to do that. All right, guys, so we're back on the outside of this Salem 22 RBS. And as we get started up here, you do have a smooth aluminum nose sweep with the diamond plate rock guard down here as well. Power tongue jack is standard, so you don't have to pay extra for that. And Salem does two 20 pound propane tanks but they give you the 30 pound tank cover. So if you want to add bigger tanks to this, you can easily do that. You've got your rails for your battery and a handy battery disconnect to kill all 12 volt power to the unit is right back there. Coming along to this side, you do have your pass through storage. This does have a handy dry erase baggage door right here. So this part here is a dry erase board. So if you want to add lists or if the grand kiddos uh, want to draw on here or something you can do that magnetic hold backs on those doors too by the way and if we look in here you have tons of room in here you can access it uh, from under the bed if you have some stuff shift during transit and then you've got tool storage up here there's a handy light actually back over here as you can see there my hand kind of lit up so pretty good amount of storage while we're down here, let's see if I can do this without falling over, you do have the accessibility. So what the accessibility is, it's individual four by eight sheets of ABS plastic that they use as a 
enclosed underbelly. And that camera work there was absolutely terrible. Um, but so if the benefit of the accessibility, accessibility, oh, I do that every time. The accessibility is if you have to work on some of the plumbing or LP lines or anything like that, you can take one panel down, get to whatever you need to get to, and then put that panel back up instead of having to cut an underbelly like a lot of competing products. We have applied the optional power stabilizer jack. So here's your front two controls for, or your front control for your two jacks. You're gonna have a six gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition. So pretty cool feature there. Outside speakers, you also are gonna have an outside TV backer location. So if you wanna put one there, you can. And you have the capability to run that TV with power and cable outlet. You also are gonna have a, or your fresh water fill right there. Good looking mag wheels. Salem does use the triple step Moride step above steps. These will flip up inside the door and have the easy adjust feet. Friction hinge entry door, larger entry assist handle. And then back here, you are gonna have your second power stabilizer jack control for the back two jacks. As we come back around to this side, you have your spare tire, spare tire carrier, four inch square tubular bumper for your stinky slinky. And then up top there, in between those clearance lights, you can see that you do have a backup camera prep location right there. Down over here, you are gonna have your city water connection, black tank flush, and your cable and satellite connections. Um, I kinda find that's a weird spot for those, but I guess that's where they had to put them. 30 amp service, right there. Detachable power cord. And then you have your black and gray tank dumps right here. As we come forward here, I think that's just about everything. Yes, it is. So with that being said, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the 2022 Forest River Salem Model 22 RBS. If you're interested in this travel trailer, you have any questions, or if you like pricing and availability, feel free to leave those questions and comments down in the uh, down below in the comment section. You can also give us a call at 806-335-2336 or you can shoot me an email at contact at custom-rv.com. All right, guys, we thank you very much for watching. Remember at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees. We leave those up to the big box dealers and we know that RVs are made for women so men can go camping. Real quick, guys, before you leave, we thank you very much for taking the time to watch our videos. If you could do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And please, if you enjoy the videos and the fair and unbiased reviews, feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell. And you can stay up to date with all of our latest content that we have coming out for y'all. Again, guys, we thank you very much for watching. We appreciate every single one of you that tunes into our videos, whether you're a first time viewer or a returning viewer. And we hope to see you out on our lot very soon or hear from you and have a wonderful rest of your day.